Welcome to our exploration of hemophilia, a rare genetic bleeding disorder primarily affecting males. This condition has been known for centuries, yet many still don't fully understand its complexities. People with hemophilia bleed for a longer time than normal because their blood doesn't clot properly. This can lead to spontaneous bleeding episodes which can be life-threatening if not managed correctly. There are two main types of this condition, hemophilia A and hemophilia B. Each type has its own unique characteristics and challenges. Both types are caused by mutations in specific genes responsible for making clotting factors. These genetic mutations are usually inherited, but can sometimes occur spontaneously. Hemophilia A, which is more common, is caused by a deficiency in factor 8, a crucial protein for blood clotting, while hemophilia B results from a deficiency in factor 9. Both deficiencies disrupt the normal clotting process. These clotting factors are proteins that play a crucial role in the coagulation cascade, a complex process that helps stop bleeding. Understanding this cascade is essential for managing hemophilia effectively. Now, let's delve into the specifics of factor 8 and 9, essential components of the coagulation cascade. These factors play a crucial role in the complex process that ensures our blood clots properly when needed. This cascade involves a series of intricate steps leading to the formation of a blood clot, a vital process for stopping bleeding. Factor 8 acts as a cofactor, working alongside Factor 9 to activate Factor X, a key enzyme in the cascade. This activation is essential for the next steps in the clotting process. When either Factor 8 or 9 is deficient, the coagulation cascade is disrupted, preventing the formation of a stable fibrin clot. This disruption can lead to serious bleeding issues. Fibrin, a protein, forms a mesh-like structure that traps platelets and red blood cells to form a clot. This mesh is crucial for the stability and strength of the clot. The severity of hemophilia is directly related to the level of factor deficiency. The lower the levels of these factors, the more severe the condition. Individuals with severe hemophilia have very low levels of these factors, less than 1% of normal, and often experience spontaneous bleeding episodes. These episodes can occur without any apparent cause and can be life-threatening if not managed properly. The hallmark of hemophilia is prolonged bleeding, which can occur spontaneously or after an injury or surgery. Common bleeding sites include joints, muscles, and the gastrointestinal tract. Bleeding into joints, also known as hemarthrosis, is particularly concerning as it can lead to chronic pain, joint damage, and disability. Infants with hemophilia may present with excessive bleeding from the umbilical cord or circumcision site. As these children start walking and become more active, they may experience frequent bruising or bleeding into muscles and joints. Section 4. Laboratory Diagnosis, PT, APTT, and Factor Assays Laboratory tests are essential for diagnosing and classifying hemophilia. The prothrombin time, or PT, and activated partial thromboplastin time, or APTT, are two common clotting tests. The PT measures the extrinsic pathway of the coagulation cascade, while the APTT measures the intrinsic pathway. In hemophilia, the APTT is typically prolonged, while the PT remains normal. To confirm the diagnosis and determine the type of hemophilia factor assays are performed, these assays measure the levels of specific clotting factors in the blood. Section 5. Treatment and Management Replacing Missing Factors The primary treatment for hemophilia is replacement therapy, which is essential for managing the condition effectively. This involves infusing concentrates of the deficient clotting factor directly into the bloodstream, helping to restore normal clotting function. Factor concentrates are available as plasma-derived or recombinant products, each with its own benefits and considerations. Prophylactic treatment involves regular infusions of factor concentrates to prevent bleeding episodes before they occur, which is particularly important for individuals with severe hemophilia, as they are at higher risk for spontaneous bleeding. In addition to factor replacement, other management strategies are crucial. These include avoiding activities that increase the risk of bleeding, such as contact sports or heavy lifting, promptly treating any bleeding episodes to minimize complications, regular monitoring by a hematologist to adjust treatment plans as needed, and physical therapy to maintain joint health and mobility, which can be affected by repeated bleeding into the joints. Section 6. Conclusion. The importance of early diagnosis and comprehensive care. 
Hemophilia A and B are complex bleeding disorders that require lifelong management. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are essential to prevent complications and improve quality of life. Understanding the underlying factor deficiencies, clinical manifestations, and laboratory findings is crucial for effective diagnosis and management. With proper care and support, individuals with hemophilia can lead active and fulfilling lives.